So I think for the IO flick, the number one thing that I think is important is release point. Jack Williams, Raleigh Ring of Fire. I think when I first learned how to throw a flick, I was taught kind of tie the elbow to the hip and it's all on the wrist. But as you sort of evolve your throws, you kind of want to be able to get the disc further and further away from your body so that you have a more dynamic break throws. I'm really looking to the space to my right for someone to cut sort of laterally into that window that I can throw into. If you're throwing to kind of a tighter window, you're gonna have to get out a little bit more and kind of snap that disc into that smaller window. So the first move I'm always gonna do is just a slight shimmy right here to get the mark to move a little bit. All I'm looking for is a couple inches for me to get that flick off. So I'll be right here. I give a little shimmy to the back end right here. Hopefully the mark moves. And then I'm gonna shimmy back right here and open up that big window. If you pivot forward almost past the mark, you can hit those bigger windows to the left behind the mark.